Oh gosh. Do you know what happened? Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. Everything looked great, and then all of a sudden there was a big pop. Are you okay? That was my knuckle. No, no. freaking way. Yeah. I guess I had my hand really far back. Cut my finger off. Mr. Del Shanzi is talking to you when he's the voice of reason and he's trying to get through. So listen all you people so that you can hear. Put out your cigarette and put down your beer. It's Del Shanzi. Pow! Okay, so another fake scam USPBA instructor, the USPBA is of course a scam, but another of their fake instructors chops himself up in his prop. Now, that happens all the time. That's Mark Honeycutt just happened. You know, that's a bit ago. Then you got Britton Shaw. And then you got, there's a list of these guys, Andy McGavin, and it goes on and on. But what's worse, you know, it'd be one thing if somebody made a stupid mistake. But when these people pretend that they're instructors, they go around promoting themselves as experts, telling you, oh, this is what you should get and trying to talk you into gear they've literally shredded themselves in the prop with, it's bad enough that they literally shredded themselves in the prop. Like Andy McGavin, he's the guy that pushes Mac Para, which well, somebody else died on. Uh, many people have died on the hoax flex gliders that they're pushing. But this guy, Andy McGavin, was going online saying, oh, you don't need the flat top, it's a piece of junk, who needs Kevlar netting? Whap! Shreds himself in the prop right after mocking the strength of the flat top cage. The problem is, this is not bashing. This is warning you, the viewer, because this is an unregulated sport. So you, as the pilot in command, need to be intelligent enough to take this information and use it to save your own butt. Are you gonna fly a piece of crap Blackhawk or Parajet or any of this garbage, like Trevor's selling or Mark Honeycutt's pushing, or Tucker guy is pushing, it's total garbage. Look at the guy get smacked with the prop. Look at the guy chop his freaking fingers off. The reason they hate me so much and they bash trash and lie and just talk all kinds of garbage and try and stir up as much hate as possible is because I'm telling the truth. There's no way to refute this. How do you refute protection from the prop? Oh, you don't need protection from the prop because only idiots get chopped up in the prop. Actually, many of them have said that right before they chop themselves up in the prop. That's messed up. The goal as an expert and an instructor and a YouTube, you know, basically uh, expert that's explaining the facts to you needs to know what the freak's going on and to share the facts. The fact is competent pilots only fly flat tops. That is not a sales pitch. There is no other unit with proper protection from the prop. And that's just one safety factor. We haven't even talked about five people drowning in a single year because they didn't have a quick release harness and their unit didn't float like a flat top. That's a whole different subject. This is just one specific of people getting shredded in the prop. So think about the competency of these people pretending to be instructors using a completely fake scam, which they call the USPPA. It's completely made up, just a total made up website, like a bunch of buddies getting together going, oh, hey, let's all call ourselves certified. But this is a perfect example of why it's a fraud. Now you tell me, if this organization, the USPPA scam, is promoting Mark Honeycutt as an instructor, or Tucker Gott as expert, or any of these guys, or Trevor Steele, or any of these people pushing this total crap gear as instructors, can you call them competent? Can you say that that organization, the USPPA scam, knowingly promoting these people as instructors, knowing full well they're pushing the absolute worst and most deadly gear in the history of the sport, can you call that anything other than a fraud? That is what, that's what a scam is. They're trying to defraud you into thinking people who are totally dishonest and incompetent are certified instructors. That's messed up. You as the viewer has to be smart enough to use your brain. Am I speaking too fast for you? 
This is not the sport for people who are not intelligent enough to put these facts together. If you're all offended by Superdell telling the truth, aviation is not for you. This is not a sport for pansies who can't take the truth straight up and actually appreciate and go, wow, thanks Superdell, that's blatantly obvious. I mean, seriously, what's the sales pitch against protection from the prop? Oh, well, if you chop your fingers off, your hand will be lighter and then you'll have more lift. I mean, seriously, how are you going to argue against that? You can't. And they don't. All they do is talk trash, stir up garbage, tell lies, pretend I kill people, make up fake deaths that then they blame on me that never happen, that are totally fake. Just on and on, lie after lie. So, look at the evidence, look at the logic, use your brain, and you call Superdell, the guy that's actually telling the truth, and will actually help you stack all the odds in your favor.